What do you do when you want to make dinner and you forgot to soak your beans? You're going to make pinto beans and you look in your cupboard and all you have is dried beans in a bag and you forgot to soak them. Well, on the show today, we are going to make these absolutely delicious pinto beans from dried beans. Usually you have to soak dry beans overnight to get them to soften up. Otherwise you're going to be cooking and cooking and cooking them for hours to get them to soften up. But we can take dried beans in an electric pressure cooker and it will soften them in less time than it would be to soak them, to boil them. We can do it in 30 to 40 minutes. So we're going to take pinto beans. We're going to take bacon. We're going to take onions and garlic, and we are going to make these absolutely fabulous pinto beans. So join me as we make pinto beans in the Kasori two quart electric pressure cooker. So this is our cute little Kasori pressure cooker and it's 2.1 quart. And this is perfect for weeknight dinners, side dishes, single people or a small family when you just want to make a small dish. So today we're going to make some pinto beans in this. And one of the things about what I do is I usually buy dry beans and then I forget to soak them overnight. So then I have to figure out how to quick soak them so I can use them. So here is the little Kasori, and it's just like a big pressure cooker. Um, one of the neat things about this is uh, the lid is held up by this. So you can work in there and then close it, and the lid is right here for you. It has a little nonstick bowl here. So we're going to cook our beans in here. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank Kasori for sending me this little thing. It's my little baby pressure cooker, right? Um, so let's start getting our ingredients in here and let's get this under pressure. So if you're going to be using just the beans and you just want to soften them in the pressure cooker without um, flavoring them much because you're going to use them in another dish, um, you can do that um, just like we're doing. I'm going to flavor it because that's how we do it here, right? But uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, but to me, it just, it's just the way to do it, right? So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take this lid off. And just so we can see it a little bit, I'm going to take it all the way off. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to saute. And I don't know, I'm going to put it on 10 minutes just because I want a little heat up time, 12 minutes. I probably won't uh, actually cook it that long. And what I have here is some bacon. I basically just cut it and we're gonna cut, um, cook this kind of a little crisp because I don't want like flabby bacon inside my beans. So we're gonna go ahead and saute this down to give us a nice bacony flavor for our pinto beans. Okay, so I'm gonna take this bacon out of here. Um, I actually use four pieces of thick cut bacon. Um, I like using thick cut bacon on this because I don't want it to just like disintegrate because sometimes regular bacon, depending on the brand, they cut it really thin. So um, thick cut works pretty good. So that was four slices. And I have a me small to medium onion here that I've diced. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there and we're gonna saute this as well. Our onions are looking really, really good. And we're gonna go ahead, I have two, gar two garlic cloves that I um, minced. And we're just gonna saute that for like a minute or so. Okay, so back in with the bacon. Bacon. <laughs> bacon! Yeah! Oh my gosh! I could eat that right there. Mm. Just give me a spoon. Ow. Right? So I have a half a pound of pinto beans. 
These are dry right out of the bag. Um, I picked through them to make sure there was any rocks or I removed any broken beans and I also rinsed them. And we're gonna go ahead and put these in here dry, right? You guys know that to use dry beans, you gotta soak these babies overnight. We're doing it right here. We're also gonna put some uh, chicken broth in here. And I'm pretty much just gonna cover the beans. It really depends on how big your beans are. Um, I pretty much, I have three cups here, but I don't know if I'm gonna use all of that. You don't wanna go like too much over half full with your pressure cooker. You also don't want a huge amount of liquid left over. We're not making soup or anything. Um, if there's a little liquid left over, we could always take the lid off, throw it on saute, and let some of that um, come up out of there. So let's get a little seasoning in here. Time for a little seasoning. I'm gonna use a little bit of one of my favorite chili powders. Use your favorite. I'm not gonna put a lot because I'm not ma making chili. Um, just put a little bit in there. To your taste, right? Um, I'm also gonna put a little bit of Mexican oregano. I'm gonna put a couple shakes of some garlic powder, granulated garlic. And we can't leave out a wee bit of cumin. Wee bit of cumin. <laughs> and we're gonna go with a little bit of black papier, pepper. And I'm going to put a very little bit of salt, only because we have, it's low sodium chicken broth, but I don't know what we got going with that, right? So we're gonna salt at the end to taste. I'm also gonna pop in a couple bay, just for giggles, right? <laughs> and we'll stir this up. Oh man, that looks good. That looks very, Give us a nice stir here. And it smells delicious. Delicious. And we're gonna throw our lid on here. So we slide it here. Put the lid down. Crank it to close. We're gonna make sure that this is down. If this is up, it won't generate pressure. So make sure that's down and it's released. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the menu till we come all the way over here to beans. And this defaults to 20 minutes. I've done this before and it actually took 25. So I'm gonna go ahead and give me five more minutes and go ahead and hit start. And it's gonna come up to pressure. It's gonna cook it. And then we're gonna have some very, very nice pinto beans. So the timers went off and we're getting ready to release the pressure. With this one, you just hit this button right here. <laughs> Okay, our little thing just popped down, and so we're ready to open this baby up. So one of the things I can see is our beans are not quite softened yet. Um, so we're gonna have to go a little bit longer. Yeah, they're not finished. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back down. Woo! We're gonna lock it back down. And you know, the last time I did this, um, it went 25 minutes. It really depends, every bean is different, right? So we're gonna plug this back in and I'm gonna let it go maybe for another 10.
It's going to build pressure again, and we are going to cook it about another 10 minutes. Okay, let's release it. <laughs> it smells so good. So let's see what we have. I'm going to go ahead and close that up, open this up. Wow, it smells fantastic and looks fantastic. Oh, it looks delicious. Look at that. Look at that. And there's actually a perfect amount of liquid in there. Um, I really don't even need to try to cook those off. So let me get these bay leaves out of here. Wow. So let me give it a quick initial taste so we can check for seasoning. So I'll put a little bit of salt in there. And it's time to put this in a bowl and give it an official taste test. So these beans look absolutely fantastic. And it's surprising that we did this from dried beans in like 30, 40 minutes in the pressure cooker because usually you're soaking beans overnight just to get them a little bit soft and then you gotta cook them and cook them and cook them. And I really like using dry beans over canned because to me, canned a lot of times they already come totally and completely softened. So as soon as you start using them in a dish, they're just blown out. Half of them will be just flat out blown up because they're just overcooked. This way, you don't have to season them like I do. You can just soften them in the pressure cooker and then use them in another dish. We just went out and just pretty much made beans a la charo, which I love. We've made it in a multi-cooker and it took several hours to do. Let me tell you, we did it in about 40 minutes. Bacon, onions, garlic, and my absolute favorite pinto beans. I love them. So let's take an official taste test. So here's our beans. I love pinto beans, let me tell you. They are so good. Mm. <laughs> they are delicious. Bacony, oniony, little chili powder. Oh my gosh. You guys know how I love Southwest flavors. Pinto beans are my bean. <laughs> so I say softening dry pinto beans in a pressure cooker gets my thumbs up. These beans get my thumbs way up. I absolutely love them and you're gonna love them too. Um, I just wanna take this opportunity to thank Kasori for sending me the little mini baby two core pressure cooker. I love it. If you want to take a look at it, I'll put the links down in the description um, for the Amazon page. It's a cute little thing and it would be great for rice. It would be great for small dishes. You could put some vegetables in there. I think it's great. So thank you, Kasori, and I really, really appreciate it. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave me a comment and a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook at Amy Learns to Cook. And so the countdown is done and we're ready to release the pressure. This one, you just push this little button right here. Oops.